Saskatchewan is home to numerous talented artists, and Regina's Marcia Kennedy is in the spotlight at the Moose Jaw Museum and Art Gallery. As a retrospective of her work, this 120-piece exhibition celebrates Marcia's long-standing career, which is spanned from printmaking to painting, while focusing on a common theme. I am always reflecting back on the body in my work. I see the earth as a body, I see plants as a body, uh, and then there's bird bodies, there's human bodies in this show too. What the work does is tie the relationship of these bodies, the physical world, all together. Sometimes in my work I'm exploring more primal or spiritual ideas in my work. Sometimes my work explores historical facts uh, in science. I'm always interweaving these ideas to see how they actually relate back to me as a person and the viewer as a person. Birds are also a common thread in Marcia's work, further acknowledging her connection to nature. I have been involved with birds personally in my life for a long time. I lived with uh, two rescued crows that had broken wings and uh, therefore couldn't be released back into the wild. Some of this work does explore that from a very personal point of view, though it's not the theme of the actual work. They somehow have captivated me and they do represent the wider concerns. It also refers to back to the saying, canary in the coal mine. If there's something wrong with the canary or it dies, that means that's a threat to even us. Marcia further adds that living in Toronto for 11 years before returning to the prairies helped shape her career as an artist. I was exposed to a lot of different people and a more international connection to artists that were coming through. Lots of things were going on. It was a very good time to be in Toronto. It was an exciting time there in the 80s in the art community because feminist art was rising. The, uh, performance art and video art all was blooming and blossoming. And even though I didn't particularly work in those areas, I sometimes worked with and socialized with those people, so it was very stimulating. A well-rounded career in art, which Marcia Kennedy still has many canvases to fill with the next chapter in her life, and one which she enjoys sharing with the general public. She does a lot of preparation for her work. She does a lot of research, a lot of reading, um, and she seems to take in all of this information and filters it into ways that are really beautifully poetic. Sometimes there's a real challenge there between, you know, exploring an idea, working on an image, but also knowing that I want a viewer to be able to understand something from this. I want to relay or move or incite or inspire in some sort of way. So it's a back and forth relationship um, between the viewer and artist. And I think local galleries are so important because they also help us, uh, you walk out the gallery and you, and you might have been inspired to see something differently, uh, think about something differently. And you don't leave that when you leave the gallery. It can sometimes really change your daily life. Embodied Ecologies by Marcia Kennedy will be presented to numerous audiences through exhibitions at the Moose Jaw Museum and Art Gallery, the Art Gallery of Swift Current, the Esplanade Arts and Heritage Centre in Medicine Hat, and at the Vernon Public Art Gallery in Vernon, B.C.